Hey, there. If you're enjoying the content we create, please consider subscribing to our channel. When I got home last night, my wife demanded that I take her somewhere expensive. So I took her to a gas station. That's when the fight started. After retiring, I went to the social security office to apply. The woman behind the counter asked me for my driver's license to verify my age. I looked in my pockets and realized I had left my wallet at home. I told the woman that I was very sorry, but I would have to go home and come back later. The woman said, unbutton your shirt. So I opened my shirt, revealing my curly silver hair. She said, that silver hair on your chest is proof enough for me, as she processed my social security application. When I got home, I excitedly told my wife about my experience at the social security office. She said, You should have dropped your pants. You might have gotten disability too. And that's when the fight started. My wife and I were sitting at a table at my high school reunion, and I kept staring at a drunken lady swigging her drink as she sat alone at a nearby table. My wife asked, Do you know her? Yes. I sighed. She's my old girlfriend. I understand she took to drinking right after we split up those many years ago, and I hear she hasn't been sober since. My God, says my wife. Who would think that a person could go on celebrating that long? And that's when the fight started. I took my wife to a restaurant. The waiter, for some reason, took my order first. I'll have the strip steak medium rare, please, he said. Aren't you worried about the mad cow? Nah, she can order for herself. And that's when the fight started. A woman is standing naked, looking in the bedroom mirror. She is not happy with what she sees and says to her husband. I feel horrible. I look old, fat, and ugly. I really need you to pay me a compliment. The husband replies, Your eyesight's darn near perfect. And that's when the fight started. I tried to talk my wife into buying a case of Miller Lite for $14.95. Instead, she bought a jar of cold cream for $7.95. I told her the beer would make her look better at night than the cold cream. And that's when the fight started. My wife asked me if a certain dress made her buttocks look big. I told her not as much as the dress that she had worn yesterday. And that's when the fight started. A man and a woman were asleep like two innocent babies. Suddenly, at three o'clock in the morning, a loud noise came from outside. The woman, bewildered, jumped up from the bed and yelled at the man. Holy crap! That must be my husband! So the man jumped out of bed, scared and naked, he jumped out the window. He smashed himself on the ground, ran through a thorn bush, and got to his car as fast as he could. A few minutes later, he returned, went up to the bedroom, and screamed at the woman. I am your husband. The woman yelled back. Yeah, then why were you running? And that's when the fight started. Saturday morning I got up early, quietly dressed, made my lunch, grabbed the dog, and slipped quietly into the garage. I hooked up the boat to the truck and proceeded to back out into a torrential downpour. The wind was blowing 50 miles per hour. So I pulled back into the garage, turned on the radio, and discovered that the weather would be bad all day. I went back into the house, quietly undressed, and slipped back into bed. I cuddled up to my wife's back, now with a different anticipation, and whispered, The weather out there is terrible. My loving wife of 10 years replied, Can you believe my stupid husband is out fishing a nap? And that's when the fight started. I asked my wife, where do you want to go for our anniversary? It warmed my heart to see her face melt in sweet appreciation. Somewhere I haven't been in a long time, she said. So I suggested, how about the kitchen? And that's when the fight started. My wife and I were watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire while we were in bed. I turned to her and said, do you want to have sex? No, she answered. I then said, is that your final answer? She didn't even look at me this time, simply saying, Yes. So I said, Then I'd like to phone a friend. 
And that's when the fight started.